Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the system user interface language in Windows 10. So if you want to change the localized version of your Windows operating system language, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, and we're going to start by opening up the Start button. Just off on the Start button one time. Select the settings gear icon on the left side where if you hover over it, it says settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Now that you're here, you want to go select the time and language tile. Now select language on the left side. And at this point you can change your Windows display language by clicking inside of this drop down menu. So this is going to change what your core system user interface language is, so if there's other ones that are currently installed in here. If you're using a Microsoft-based account to log in, there'd be an option right underneath here to add a Windows Display language in the Microsoft Store. Otherwise, you can select the Add a Preferred Language button in here. And at this point, you go ahead and just type in whatever language you want to appear. And you can see there's a lot of different regional versions of most languages too that at least if you're watching this video you probably would come across and you just would go ahead and select whichever one's applicable for you and then select next select the install button and there you go it should say language pack available once you've selected it so go ahead and select that and then you want to move it up in the list here to the first preferred default app language You can select it one more time too and then select options. Please note, I appear to be having internet connectivity issues at this point, but it should automatically begin downloading the language packs. Just make sure you hook up to the internet because then it should begin automatically downloading your language pack from here. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.